first part of my study phase is going to be the board work and I'm going to use the information that I generated in the elicitation part of my engage phase to move on to the actual board work. What I'm going to do is to show the structure of this particular tense. So the phase is study. I'm expecting to take about 10 minutes on this particular part and again the interaction will mainly be the students talking to me. So how am I going to achieve that with this information? Well, we could ask the students to have a look at the sentences themselves and to tell us what they can see. If we look at each of the first words in here, then at this level I should hopefully be able to elicit from my students what each of these words have in common. And they may well give an answer that each of those words is actually a subject. What I could then do is to elicit those subjects that are not already here, for example, we and it, and those subjects are followed by this second word, am, is, and are, and we should be able to elicit from our students that each of those words have something in common in the English language, which are, they are each of the verb be. Finally, we can look at the third word in each of these and find out what they have got in common. And the most obvious thing that they have in common, despite some spelling changes, is that they end up with ing. The thing that goes before those ing's is some form of verb, to sit, to listen, and so on and so forth. And so the third word is the verb plus ing. So in this way, I'm showing the structure of the present continuous tense in the form of this model subject plus verb B plus the verb ing.